Yeah, that's, that's you. you. That's viewers Look like you. Look in the mirror. That's you. Right on your mirror. Viewers like me. <laughs> I'm Rin Mardia. And I'm Sean. And it's us, your fearless guides to all things nine, with a brand new Monday episode of The, the nine, nine Outline. Outline. Wow. Hey, Sean, how's it going? How was your weekend? It's great. It's been gorgeous out, sunny, and uh, yeah, I'm loving it. How about you? Oh, same as My, like my, when the sun's out, what is it? What is it? The, the Anna says, the sky's awake, I'm awake. When the sun's out, I'm feeling great. I just... Like that, I made that up. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, that the first part of it was accurate. Yeah, it's all me. Uh, I have a feeling that was from a movie I haven't seen. What? We'll talk about it later. It's but. upsetting. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of really great stuff on 9 PBS, though, for you this week. Stuff that you can quote all week long. Uh, and let's get it started with tonight. We have. Tulsa, The Fire and the Forgotten. Again, that's tonight, May 31st, 9 o'clock p.m. And it is all about the 100-year anniversary of the 1921 uh, crime, the the Tulsa Massacre. Um, So we'll learn about how Tulsa's residents today are making sure that people don't forget about this fire. Um, It was a criminal act of racial violence uh, it was a it was a master car and it should not go forgotten um, we'll also learn about their efforts to uh make sure that descendants of the victims are receiving reparations you know how can um how can the people of tulsa make good a hundred years in the past uh, and so we'll we'll see how they fight for that how they um keep that story alive and um, we have actually a similar story uh, Gabrielle Hayes just did for yeah. Living St. Louis. It was um, our story about the East St. Louis massacre in 1917. So this is very important history, really relevant to our region, the St. Louis region. Um, and I think that it's important that you watch Tulsa, The Fire and the Forgotten tonight, Monday, May 31st, 9 o'clock p.m., and also watch that Living St. Louis story from Gabrielle Hayes. It was really good. We'll link it below, I'm sure. Um, yeah, great stuff. Yeah, these are, I mean, I always, say it, I always say it, but I'm always just proud of the content that PBS produces and puts out. And 9PBS, the local story that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, because these are two events that are surprisingly, like they're getting attention now. But it's so, it's sad that it's, it, you know, they've kind of been pushed by the wayside. Yeah, 100 years years later. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, years later, it's finally starting to come to light yeah. for a lot of people, um, which is really tragic for the people whose, you know, uh, whose families were affected. Yeah. So um, yeah. I think I'm it's, glad that we get to hear those stories, yeah. though, and hear those voices now. The very least you can do, sit, watch, listen, learn, understand, mm-hmm. experience. Are there any other verbs I forgot? <laughs> um, you said all of them. Yeah. I checked my dictionary. Every verb was used in that description. Congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me get that full list out without interrupting <laughs> me. We have plenty of interruptions on their way because they're in Mardia, the program that you want to talk to us about. Um, what's it called? It is called Ars Interrupted. It's a great performance. Um, one of our favorites, we just got to discussing her, Vanessa Williams. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Ian, love her. We're also birthday buddies. So every time I see her, I'm like, shout out, birthday buddy. But Vanessa Williams, she is hosting this program. It's called Arts Interrupted. It is all about the way that COVID completely impacted the arts organizations across the nation. Um, and we touch base with organizations um, and just like, I mean, Broadway in and of itself, like that was a massive effect that it had. Shows were shut down, the yeah. lights were out, you know, um, the locally, the Muni last summer. Down. Yeah. We didn't get to have a, a whole season, you know, it was closed. So, but things are opening back up. Broadway's opening back up. The Muni's coming back later on this summer. They're making sure that everybody's safe. But a lot of other organizations, um, music organizations, theater organizations were all shut down. And so they had to pivot. They had to see, you know, what, what does life look like, you know? And one of the um, one of the performers, she actually says something that was really intriguing to me in the in the trailer. She said, "In the absence of song, who am I?" You know? And like wow. these performers, this is their blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. This is 
who they are, you know, it's what they do. And so when you close down all that and you take that away from them, you know, they had to reassess, you know, what, what does life look like? Um, and so we get to hear those personal stories from them, um, get to hear how those, you know, how they're surviving the pandemic. And also kind of like what I brought up with um, Inside the Met last week, yeah. um, it also touches base on with the pivot of these arts organizations, how else are they creating art that reflects the racial reckoning that was happening, you know, when it was the examination of systemic racism. So it's all really interesting. I love it. But just the title itself, Arts Interrupted, arts never stopped being created. Creativity didn't stop, but it was like a halt, you know. Um, and so I'm just really proud of getting to know these performers and hearing their stories and just, I'm so excited for all of the lights and these performances to come back, though. And gosh, we don't live in New York, so I can't go to Broadway right now, but the Muni is here and it is it is the <sighs> next best thing. Yeah, so. I mean, one thing that St. Louis has that a lot of other cities don't is outdoor music yeah. entertainment. So, you know, who's 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 to know what's going to happen this summer? I think we're going to have some really, really excellent entertainment in this it's region. Beautiful. As people are yeah. like, you know, coming back to life. Things are coming back for sure. So it's going to be wonderful. But that's something that you can catch on 9 PBS Passport. All right. So if you're a member, you can log in, check that out on demand. It's wonderful, you know. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm thrilled about it. Well, the good, you know, the good news is if you are not a member, we've actually got the perfect opportunity for you to become one because mm -hmm. it is our June membership drive. We have one every season. This season is no exception. And uh, this Saturday, June 5th at 1230 p.m., you can catch me and Earn Mardia hosting Pizza Night with Father Dom. Again, that's yeah. Saturday, June 5th, 1230 p.m., uh, it's going to be delicious. I know I am a personal fan of the personal pan pizza. Same, same, <laughs> same. I am obsessed with pizza. I love, love, love it. Yeah, I'm I personally I'm just like drooling. I'm so excited about this program. We're gonna be joined by Father Dom. He's got and such gonna... a good personality. So this yeah, is well, a really fun time. He's a nine PBS fan favorite. You all love him. So we're gonna talk to him about how to get the perfect pizza crust, what you need to do. There are some really interesting and cool uh thank you gifts we're offering that you're gonna have to tune in to find out what those are. And uh, you can become a member, get access to Passport, get access to a ton of 9PBS benefits. Uh, I think the most important being the pride, the sense of pride and joy, knowing that your contribution went towards uh, keeping our really fantastic educational, entertaining program on the air, uh, programs on the air, like, like teaching in room nine, for instance. That I'm is sure. something that we did for our community that we could not have done without our community support. So that's you, you. Yeah, that's, that's you. you. That's viewers Look like you. Look in the mirror. That's you. Right on your mirror. Viewers like yeah. me. <laughs> so if you love programs like Teaching in Room 9, Living St. Louis, Donnie Bash, if you like our in-person events like Storytime in the Commons or our Chew in the Lose, now is the perfect time to become a member by watching Pizza Night with Father Dom this Saturday, June 5th, 12.30 p.m., We'll yeah. see you there. <laughs> oh, for sure. I'm we watching will. You. I'll be watching you through your TV screen, so you better clean up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also, speaking of our membership drive, the next program that we have for you, okay, it is Monty Python, a celebration. Ooh. Guys, you're eating your pizza, okay? Now, just join us while eating the slice of pizza that Father Dom taught you how to make. Um, Saturday night, 1030, Monty Python, a celebration. This is going to be so funny. Like, this is a freaking riot, all right? I love Monty Python. Their whole troupe, so hilarious. They gave us Holy Grail, Life of Brian, Meaning of Life, okay? John Cleese is a personal favorite of mine. Anytime he makes any entrance into anything, I die laughing. He doesn't even have to open his mouth. I'll freaking love him. But um, this examines just uh, their influence on comedy. Their influence on comedy has actually been compared to the Beatles' influence on music, okay? I buy These it. guys like legendary comedians, you'll see them in interviews in this special, but they will tell you exactly how they have been influenced by this troupe, this comedy troupe, and like how they've influenced SNL, which is a huge iconic yeah. comedy show here. I mean, duh. So tune in for all that British humor, hilarity. Oh my gosh, I promise you, you will not, not laugh. And if you don't, well, 
I, that's on I'm you. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's not. <laughs> that's a that's personal not problem. <laughs> <laughs> so tune in this Saturday, 1030. Do it. You, you'll go to bed laughing in your sleep. I promise. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> so I got that. What and then else? you know how I told you guys about Arts Interrupted. It's available for streaming. There are so many different shows that we have available for streaming. So when you log on to pbs.org or on your PBS video app, guys, there are shows like A People's History of Asian America, Soundfield, Say It Loud. These shows are so great because they they examine so many different cultures, so many different arts, so many different genres, and the digital the digital stratosphere or whatever, it gives a little bit more room, you know, for creativity. And there's so many different independent filmmakers um, and so many different personalities out there. Like, say it loud. Oh, my goodness. We were introduced to that, like, a couple years ago in a meeting that we saw. And they are so funny. Yeah, that show, really they just yeah. got got renewed for season two oh, and they're producing some amazing digital content. Yeah. And I love them. They're so funny. They kind of, um, just give a really hilarious take on black history and like just introduce black culture to you, you know, and these, I promise you, these two girls, so, so funny. So, but everything is so wonderful. And the PBS digital studios content, I love it. And I love that we can watch it on demand. So like I said, it's not just the things that you see on air. You can see so many different yeah, creative, creative content. content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, so. and not only is it on demand, but it's wherever you go because that phone lives in your pocket. We know mm -hmm. it does. So you yeah. can open it up, that PBS Passport app. Watch all those digital series. I know. And you know how I was telling you that I like the walk and talk now with this pandemic. I walk and walk to the park carrying my phone and just pop my earbuds in and watch something. Yeah. So. Personally, I always watch my digital series in my uh, my biscuit food truck. Um, and I always watch that that digital series about Callie's biscuits. How she rolls. <laughs> have I mentioned yeah. that I really love Callie's biscuits? And I think it's really fantastic that we have a digital show about it. You should be watching that show about Callie's biscuits. <laughs> Yes, you did. You will say it. I feel like you're going to record a tape and just like, you know, let everybody know subliminally yeah. <laughs> to watch Kelly's Biscuits. <laughs> so yeah, so much digital content out there, you guys. There's so, like I said, not just broadcast. There's a vast amount of creativity out there. So don't yeah. miss it. And anywhere you want to watch 9PBS, we are there as your fearless guides to all things 9. Sure are. It's been a fantastic episode. Like always, I'm Sean. And I'm Ern Mardia. See you next week on another brand new episode of The, the Nine, Nine Outline. Bye. 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 Bye.